Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Adeptus, on how to get fire to show up in our reflections. So to illustrate this, I have a simple candle here with the fire preset applied to it. Let's go ahead and render this out to see what we're working with. And as we can see, with the render here, um, I have basically a, a simple dielectric material on this wine bottle. And but if we come in close, we notice that at the top of our candle here in the reflection, we're not able to see the flame that's coming out from our candle here. Well, the reason for that is that by default, uh, both fluids, which in this particular case are uh, what making up this flame, as well as particles are set to not be renderable in reflections. So we can adjust this by simply selecting the uh, fluid container or the particle shape, come into the shape node, and then go down to the render stats and check the uh, visible in reflections. And if we want them to be visible in refractions, we can turn that on as well. So this is what we had before. And this is after enabling the visibility in the reflection. So uh, now we can see we're able to see that flame in our reflection. So this was before with it, the visibility turned off in reflections and this is after with the visibility turned on. So once again, just as a reminder, um, you, when you're using fluids or particles, by default they're set to not be renderable in reflections. So we can go into the shape node to enable that for our fluids or particles. Now, if you want to learn some more about dynamic effects, I'd recommend checking out the Introduction to Dynamics in Maya course.